I'm Dwayne Rolfs of Servants United Parish. I will be leading daily devotions that are found in the devotional series, The Word in Season. The reading for Friday, October 9th is found in James, the fourth chapter, verses four through 10. Unfaithful creatures, do you not know that friendship with the world is enmity with God? Therefore, whoever wishes to be a friend of the world makes himself an enemy of God. Or do you suppose it is in vain that the scripture says, he yearns jealousy over the spirit which he has made to dwell in us. But he gives more grace, therefore it says, God opposes the proud, but gives grace to the humble. Submit yourselves therefore to God, resist the devil and he will flee from you. Draw near to God and he will draw near to you. Cleanse your hands, you sinners, and purify your hearts. You men of double mind, be wretched and mourn and weep. Let your laughter be turned to mourning and your joy to dejection. Humble yourselves before the Lord and he will exalt you. Word of the Lord. Busy blinders. Draw near to God and he will draw near to you. Verse 8. A woman grabbed her coffee and flew out the door. Work meetings, decisions, and contracts filled her day. On the way home, her stomach reminded her that she had skipped lunch. She inhaled a drive through dinner she barely tasted before arriving home to a mountain of laundry, cluttered countertops, and a pile of mail. As she worked her evening away, she fell into bed discouraged that tomorrow would be no different. There has to be more to life than this, she said. Sometimes life lives us. Even with good intentions of carving out time for faith, family, and friends, it is often the case that these are the first to go when our schedules become too full. When we draw near to God and make a habit of doing so, we discover that God has been near all, near all along. We begin to recognize where God is at work in our busy lives and we can rely on God's grace and gentleness when we are stressed. Draw near and know that God is present. Let us pray. Be near to me, O God, that I may draw near and follow you. Amen. Please join me in the Lord's Prayer. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen.